Hey everybody, welcome back to Make It With Mod Podge. It's almost the end of the year and we've had so much fun with all of our crafts this year. I've got one last thing to show you and this is gonna keep you on track with all of your plans and your journaling for 2022. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can take these plain notebooks. You can use comp books, you can use kids books, you can use spirals, and we're gonna turn them into really cute journals and bullet journals and places where you can keep your list of things that you need to get accomplished. We're going to be using these really fun floral papers. It's a super simple technique, so even if you've never done decoupage before, you're gonna be able to do this. I'm also gonna show you how you can make make these cute pencil cases using a napkin. And for that, we're gonna use fabric Mod Podge. Again, it's a really super simple technique. So let's just dive right in and get started. I'm gonna First, we're gonna trace off our paper on the notebook. I like to use a little piece of tape to secure the paper down. Then you're gonna to wanna to make sure you use a pencil on the back side of the paper. Once you have that traced out, you'll be ready to cut out your paper. You'll begin by applying your satin Mod Podge to the back of the paper. You wanna have a nice, even, thin coat and make sure you get all of your edges. Then you'll just apply the paper to the top of your notebook. One note is that I have lined my notebook and my first sheet of paper with a little bit of wax paper just so the notebook cover doesn't end up sticking to the papers. Now you're ready to top coat. The top coat will seal your paper and protect it. I like to wait about 15 minutes after my initial decoupage before I do my top coating. For top coating, use even brush strokes all going in the same direction. Allow your Mod Podge to dry for a couple of hours and then you can add more embellishments. I use these Wood 2022. You can use ribbons, trims, really any kind of embellishments that you want. Okay, let's make our cute floral pencil case. We're going to use a plain canvas pencil bag. These are under two bucks at the craft store, a floral napkin and fabric Mod Podge. You're gonna separate the plies of the napkin. We're only using the top printed ply of the napkin. Once it's separated, you're ready to cut out your designs. We're attaching the napkins with fabric Mod Podge. For this, you wanna apply the fabric Mod Podge directly to the canvas bag. Then just position the napkin onto the canvas bag and gently press down with the paintbrush. I like to start in the center and kind of smooth my brush over the napkin towards the edges. You can overlap your designs if you want. Just continue to add your napkin cut pieces until your whole design is covered. You can use scissors to trim away any excess on the edges. Let your fabric Mod Podge piece dry overnight. Thanks for joining me today. See you next week.